Hey guys, I am sorry. So I paused, or I thought I paused the video, but I stopped it and I deleted it by accident because that's what I did. And grr, I started this, wait, no, uh, one second. So I obviously, if you're just coming in, or I know I had somebody here with me just a few moments ago. <sighs> do, 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 But my son came in and I decided to pause because I at some point know that I paused this. Before and I was able to like pick it up. And I needed to move my son because he was going to knock down the whole, the whole setup I have here. Anyway, I, I don't know. I wasn't able to, and I ended up deleting the video. And like I said, somebody was watching. So I'm sorry if you do see this later and you see that I am back. I'm sorry I deleted the video. I had a whole thing that I was going through. And now it's gone. And all the things that I was saying is gone. But we're just going to start from the top. Hey, whoever is watching, welcome. Oh, there's two people now. I am sharing this over in the group. I'm just starting over. If you... Now nobody's here, I don't think. I don't know. Okay, I'm starting over because my son came in and he was acting... Well, not really acting crazy, but he would have. So... I needed to deal with that. Um, what is going on? Yeah, I needed to deal with my darling little boy and get him into the other room with his sister. So anyway, if you're new here and you have no clue who this crazy woman is in front of you, I understand. I am Christine. I am owner and content creator of BloomingBrilliant.net where I share educational resources, parenting advice, and of course, information about homeschooling. I'm a homeschool mom of two. I homeschool my daughter who is nine years old and my son who's five years old and a handful right here in Brooklyn, New York. And I jump online and I share my, my experience with homeschooling and how we do it and how we navigate this whole world because it is a whole world and how to make it easier for you guys because if you're anything like me, you tend to overthink, you tend to stress out and get overwhelmed and you need help navigating it. So I want to be that help. I want to be able to help you all deal with it and feel like you can do it because I know a lot of us feel like we, we're imposters, like we don't have, we shouldn't, like how do we get the nerve to think that we can teach our own children? Sometimes we feel like that. So I have a group called Blooming Brilliant Homeschoolers as well, and I was talking about how I may change the name of that at some point. But that really isn't important. If you're interested in joining us, then check out our Facebook group and join us there. If you're in there, it won't matter if we change the name at some point because you'll be in there and you'll see that all happening. It's only because they're both the same name, and I'm wondering if that's going to get confusing let me know what you think. Should I change the name or should I just leave it because it's fine and understandable and whatever. Let me know about that. So anyway, today I'm talking about stuff. I recapped yesterday's stuff that I talked about, um, which was to choose one thing so that you can get things done on your to-do list without feeling overwhelmed. And focusing down on one thing can really help you when you're feeling stressed out. So I shared about that yesterday, and today I'm talking about how we're never happy with the type of person that we are, or we're never happy with ourselves. And it's funny, because my daughter was talking about this last night. She was like, fat people, or thicker people, she's like, want to be slim. I don't know. And she's like, and slim, skinny people always want to be thicker. You know, she was like, they want curves and stuff. I don't know why we're talking about this, but this is what we're talking about. And I said, yeah, that's true. And this kind of goes into being a parent and a homeschooler. Um, we, it could be like two different types of, like there's like two different types of homeschoolers, like the main, 
I think, core or the type of parent you are. You could be a type A parent where you have like super strict rules and regulations and you have a to-do list, which I feel like I am more of because I feel good when I have a to-do list and when I am kicking those things off the list by checking them off and everything. I feel good doing that. I feel, you know, um, anxious when I don't really have a plan in place. So even when I do like things that are like, we're going to relax and chill and do spontaneous things, I still have kind of a, a plan because that makes me feel comfortable. But we all like, cause me as a type A want to be more relaxed, want to be more, you know, let's let school just happen and let, let's just like be chill because we all need that at some point. But it's hard to change your whole sense of self, your whole personality to, to get something that you think you might like. Cause you don't know for sure. So today I'm talking about accepting the type of parent, the type of homeschooler that you are right now, because that kind of fluctuates throughout the years and how things can get be harder at some seasons and so on. And then you kind of morph into different things as you learn different um, principles and as you learn different practices and you start adapting them into your homeschool, you kind of morph into into different things. I feel like I'm, I feel like I could be a balance of relaxed and st super structured or type A because there are parts of me that don't really plan things out to like a T. So I feel like I have a balance there. Like I can relax, but I'm probably more type A the more I think about it. And that's what I was, I was talking about before we left. But anyway, we're never happy when when we are super structured and doing the to-do list we feel good and we feel like okay i have i have um sense of control over the chaotic world that i that i live in but some part of us is yearning for a more relaxed and maybe needing less responsibility maybe it is just being able to connect more and be more present with your children or with the in the situation or whatever we all want different like you know to get to the other side or to have a little bit of it if that makes sense and then the unstructured type of homeschooler or type of parent is more like they just they they enjoy their their relaxed strategy or technique or or position they, they enjoy being relaxed and they enjoy being present and they enjoy you know making those connections but then they also yearn for well i think i'd be able to be even more you know successful in our homeschool or be able to get more done if i just had a little bit more structure so we're all never happy with what we are and we all want what's on the other side until we actually get it and then we probably still not happy because it's something about us as humans we're always striving for something different and we can't just accept it well today i'm telling you to accept first you have to accept the type of parent the type of homeschooler the type of person you are so if you thrive on list then thrive on list change your list so that it's more relaxed but thrive on the list anyway you know um, today, that's what I was talking about. Also, before I left today, I recently shared earlier this morning, have you filled your child's cup today? And this is where it kind of comes into our conversation. So if you want to be more relaxed in your type A with a checklist and everything, see if you can smile at your children. That's being more relaxed instead of this is what we got to do. We got to get this done by now. That's my face. That's why I talk when I do my homeschool. We have this list and we got to check it off. <laughs> so instead of talking like that, smile, make eye contact, offer a hug or touch, because that's really important, especially when your kids are um, stressing out during like my child, my daughter, she really stresses with math, which I, she gets it from me. I, but and it's probably all my fault. 
but he stresses during math and you know just offering to be there and be present and to hold her hand through it or to rub her shoulders through it or to just take a moment to pause and breathe through it and to listen to actually listen to my child as they are going through whatever it is they're going through in their school or to teach them or to solve their problem well, not solve their problems but help them solve problems and and to just be there and love them is so more so much should be on our list should be on on our to-do list should be on our checklist and more than getting math done or getting you know handwriting done or doing today's um read aloud times two or whatever you know instead focusing on giving your kids and yourself the feeling of of love and and just bring energy back so changing your checklist if you're a super strict type a type of parent can really help you get the the relaxation that you're looking for from the other type of parent that you want you i'm going to change my whole personality and be like totally relaxed that's impossible you're never going to not overnight at least you're not going to change completely so instead change your to-do list from get this done get that done get this done get that done get this that the other focus on making eye contact touch so rubbing your child's shoulders through their writing assignment because they're struggling or through their math page or problems um, smiling at your ch children, you know, laughing with them, creating something with them, playing a game, having an actual conversation with them, listening to them, you know, cultivating silliness, like letting them be silly and be children and be their age, letting them explore. That's something I shared yesterday and experience their world around them, you know, you know, being present and in the moment, you know, tasting your food instead of just shoveling it down, which I have a problem doing. I just shovel my food and move on because I'm too busy to sit and I'm trying to be more mindful. So this, all this stuff that I've been sharing about, you know, dealing with stress and being more mindful is all things that I'm going through that I'm just trying to, 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 to spread to you guys because I know that if I struggle with this, you guys must struggle with it at some point. So giving, you know, compliments to your kids instead of always correcting them. So try doing that, you know, on your checklist. You know, uh, doing a task for, for somebody without being asked to or whatever and without complaining about it because I tend to complain about, you know, everything. <laughs> If I have to do things that they should be doing, I complain because it's like, but for one day you can do that. You can just do it without complaining and just do it because you could understand and remember what it's like to be a kid and not to be able to focus on getting those things that your parents want done. So many other things are cool and exciting, so... I'm like letting you all know like the bad stuff about me. <laughs> letting your kids leave their mess out so that they could finish it later. Things like that you can add to your list, your new to-do list that would make you more relaxed. And you know, you can change you can use which ones don't drive you the most crazy. Like we live in a tiny space, so I can't let them leave a whole Lego set out because we need the room but I can manage to save their buildings and put them aside so that they can play with them later but they can't just leave it out that could work for me so change your to-do list that's what we're talking about today I hope this helps you guys because I know that we always strive or I do strive to be just a little bit different just to be a little bit of like the other side, the, like the, the whole other parallel that I'm not. And yeah, I hope this guy's, I hope this guy's, I hope this helps you guys. And I'm sorry for the wonky way today has gone with my whole having to start over and all of that. 
If you guys want one of our cool Beware Unsocialized Homeschoolers sweatshirts that I love and live in, because I love it. It's so comfy and it's so cold all the time. You can get one. I'll drop the link. And if you are looking for one-on-one -on -one help with your homeschool, I do offer consultations. I'll drop the link for that as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I will have a post written about this by the end of the day. And so I'll share that with you guys as well. Um, I'll see you tomorrow with something new. Sorry for the craziness. And that's it.